Rob Borgel with Spartan Armor Systems. In today's video, we're going to look at American ammunition versus Russian ammunition, and we're going to compare it to different levels of ballistic protection from Spartan Armor Systems. Now, some important things to know. As we dissect this ammunition, we want to get a good side-by-side -side comparison. So in this video, we're going to focus on the 762x54R and the 762x51, what's also known as the NATO round. Now, NATO stands for North Atlantic Treaty Organization. And this is kind of all of us getting on the same page and administratively using the same type of ammunition, approving and agreeing to attack different countries or protect other countries. So as I refer to the 762x51, I might in the future call it the 762 NATO round, as compared to the Russian round, which is the 54R. Now, important note would be the 7.62x39. Now, this is kind of a dated round. People would argue that it's the world's most popular ammunition, and it can be found in all countries everywhere, and certain militaries that are very dated are still using this round. However, it's not very modern. The 5.45x39 has surpassed that round in just about every department. So as we compare side by side, let's make sure we understand that the 5.45x39 is a very close to direct comparison to the 5.56 or the M855 steel core penetrator round. You'll find the 5.56 round is ball ammunition, which is typically a 55 grain projectile. As we look at the green tip round, it's not just different because it has a green tip. It's what's called the M855 steel core penetrator. And why it's called that is because inside has a hardened steel core. It's also traveling at a faster velocity. This was designed to defeat level three armor. As we move back to the Russian example of that, we've got the 5.45 x 3.9 and the 5.45 x 3.9 7N6 round. And while both of these have steel cores, the 7N6 round is traveling much faster, 500 feet per second faster to be precise. So the likelihood of penetration is much higher on this round. All right, so now let's dissect the M80 round. The M80 round is something that the American military is going to use in an M240, which is a belt-fed machine gun. There are other weapons that will fire this bullet as well, but specifically we're not using match-grade ammunition. Now match-grade ammunition is found in sniper rifles. What makes it match grade is one, it's going to have a slightly heavier projectile, a more precise projectile, meaning it's refined and it's got a higher ballistic coefficient, meaning it sails through the air a little bit better and has less drag than the M80 round. The M80 round also doesn't have the extreme levels of consistency that match ammunition is going to have. When you're running this through a belt-fed machine gun, precision doesn't quite matter so much, as opposed to sending one round across great distance to end an enemy threat. That requires match ammunition, which is why we're going to be using M80 ammunition for today's video. Now let's understand what body armor we're going to be shooting today. We've got from Spartan Armor a level 3, a level 3 plus, and a level 4. My expectations. First off, if you want to know what weapons we're using, check out the description of the video below and you'll find a link to our article about American ammunition versus Russian ammunition. In here we detail all the velocities, barrel lengths, and weapons we use in today's video. As we dissect the level 3 and level 3 plus, the level 3 plus is when the M855 steel core penetrator was going clean through the level 3. So we amped up what it took to stop rounds. However, these tests have not been done on the advanced 545 by 39 round specifically the 7N6. If something's going to make penetration, I know that's a mean bullet, and I think that we're probably gonna get through the threes. I really don't know if we're gonna get through three plus, but I fully expect level four to stop it. As far as the 7.62 rounds go, whether the American rounds or the Russian rounds, I think that all the Spartan armor gear is gonna stop those rounds without a problem. Let's find out what happens. This is where we fired all three rounds. So we started on the top left side, top left side. We did on the Russian side, the 545 by 39 on the American side, the 55 grain typical 556 five, ammunition, as opposed to the M855 and the 7N6 round, which is designed to defeat level three. In this case, it didn't defeat it at all. It dimpled it just a little bit, but didn't get through. Now we looked at those heavier calibers is what we talked about earlier, the M80 versus the 762x54R, and there is a good size dimple there. So you felt that. that, that hurt quite a bit. A lot of that energy transitioned into your body. Uh, there's probably some blunt force trauma. And that's kind of segregating the level threes to the level three plus. And quite obviously, if, if you're gonna take that round, the level three plus is a much better position to be in as far as the recipient.
Here we've got the US side, and that's the green tip and the M80 round, and you can see there's no back face deformation. So that guy, he got knocked down maybe, but there's very little energy. There's not even a dimple on the back side, which is great ballistic protection, and we did kind of expect that as well. Here's the Russian side. Again, not even a dimple. Slight, okay, a slight dimple down here. It's hard to see, but I can feel it, and it's, it's just the tiniest amount. So on the level fours, we've got on the left side, the USA stuff. And that's the green tip M855 and the bottom M80. And you can see the green tip did very little back face deformation, which means very little energy was transitioned. And then if you look at the M80 round, that's a lot of energy. Back face deformation is there and it did hurt. However, it did not go through, which is what we expected. If we look at the Russian side, the 7N6 round didn't even divot which is very similar to the green tip round in a lot of ways. However, the 7.62x54R, you can see there's some good back face deformation. That knocked him down. And you could see in the video in slow-mo how much energy went to rubber bob. So we got a lot of testing done today. And something nifty about today's testing is this wasn't done in a lab where it's climate controlled in ideal circumstances. This was done here under the Arizona sun. And currently it's 90 degrees outside. We've got a breeze you probably hear on the microphone. And all of that plays a role in how your body armor behaves. If you look at some of the lessons we learned over in Iraq and Afghanistan, there was some phenomenal performing body armor that once it made its way overseas and the high temperatures, 120 degrees of the Iraq desert, it did not withstand that, let's call it test. Those lessons were learned in blood. So here we got the opportunity to take it outside of the lab and see how this body armor truly performs. And to be honest, I'm very surprised at the results we found and the ballistic stopping power these guys offered. For any of the tech specs on the weapons or velocities that we use today, check out our American versus Russian ammunition article, and you'll find that in the video description below. For any questions over these Spartan Armor products, reach out to us at spartanarmorsystems.com.